For me, when I was looking at this card earlier, looking at this one as potentially a dark horse, a fight of the night, in the blue corner, Steve Coupland, the black and grey shorts, and in the red corner, green shorts, Jack Cole shot. Really interested to see how this one pans out. Cole shot has a good frame. You can see as he ages, going up in weight classes might not be the worst thing for him. <laughs> Loops in a big over on right to start there. Couplin briefly dropped for a, a takedown, goes in again, but he might be caught in a guillotine there. And Jack, to a really tricky grappler, is one of those guys, not got the guillotine there, but he will always threaten from any position. You know, one of those guys who'll throw things up from anywhere. Yeah, the holding on to the guillotine got him in trouble right now, but he was able to run up the wall to get off the side control position where he was about to get stuck in the beatdown. Yeah, he scrambles back up to his feet, but good control from Coupland. He's got one hook in on the back, but... Coupland's going to end up on bottom if he loses that hook. Watch this. Nice. He's going to end up in the mount. He is, goes to the back. I think he's going to try and look at the body triangle there, maybe. Coleshaw straight away looking to escape off that right hook. He's gone to trap the other leg now. and I think he was looking for both ankles to be able to lock up that... Kind of tricky footlock the guys hit. And here he's rolling. He's going to get stuck in a head and arm position here, but he's identified it. He's trying to get that elbow down. Yeah, felt it coming, pulled the elbow back, but still mounted. A couple of big shots from Copeland. Cole Shaw, to his credit, is never stopping moving, never accepting a bad position. But he's eating a couple of shots here. Copeland looking to attack the back again. Thought he was going to uh, thread the right arm through without even worrying too much about the position at first, Marcelo Garcia style, but does have the right hook in and good control, oh. he's got the arm trapped. This is, could be disastrous. Right arm's in a good position and he's throwing it on. Coulshaw just looks to maybe have his chin in, but that does not mean it can't be finished. Oh, Coupon putting on the squeeze a little bit high. Coulshaw might wind up on top, similar position there. He's doing a good job, he's been threatened constantly, but Kuplin is doing a great job of transitioning because there's some wild movements there for Kuplin on bottom to move and a lot of guys end up not following and end up on the bottom here but he's done a phenomenal job of see there elevating his hips up again and staying on top. Yeah tracking at just the right times and knows when to pull the hook out and go to something else as well. Again there right there the roll. Oh and oh. the left arm's deep under the chin now and he's putting a squeeze on one hook across and there's the tap. That was really good grappling. Really good grappling on Copeland's part. For him to can maintain the positions that Colshaw kept scrambling in. Those are all, like right there, a lot of guys get thrown off. He was able to get that hook back across the waist and keep securing back position. That was very impressive. I wish I could explain to people how hard that was for him to maintain back pressure the way he was able to do through such a wild ride. Yeah. <laughs> 